let's try to minimize these functions. Uh, see, whenever a function is given, you should be able to draw the K map and then represent it, right? <clears throat> I'll just explain you how to do this. First, I think you know how to draw this. Only thing you should be careful is after 0, 0, 0, 1, don't put 1, 0, put 1, 1, right? And after that, you take each min term and for the corresponding cell, you are going to put 1. And before that, you should decide which one is going to be W, which one is going to be X, which one is going to be Y, which one is going to be Z. Since we have four variables, they have given it in this order. What they mean to say is whenever they have given it in this order, uh, you should in, you know you should interpret that it as w x y z so when they mean 0 0 0 0 i mean when they mean when what they mean by saying 0 is it is 0 0 0 0 what they mean by saying 4 is it is 0 1 0 0 right so for few questions it is better that you know okay i suggest that you even write it down okay for just one question i'll just do this for few questions, it is better that you even write it down and then you go to the corresponding cell and try to mark it, okay? I'll just tell you. So, for practicing purpose, you please do this once, W, X, Y, Z. Otherwise, you will get confused later. See, now they are saying that it is 0. 0 means 0, 0, 0, 0. So, what does it mean? W is 0, X is 0, Y is 0, Z is 0. And again, 4 means 0, 1, 0, 0. 6 means 0, 1, 1, 0. 7 means 0, 1, 1, 1. 8 means 1, 0, 0, 0. 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. And what is 15? 1, 1, 1, 1. Right? After writing all this, you go to the corresponding cell here and you mark it as 1. So here, if W, X, Y, Z all are 0, 0, 0, 0, what does it mean? In this location, you have to put prime. Right? So, 0, 0, 0 means W prime, X prime, Y prime, Z prime. Or you can go to the corresponding cell where W, X, Y, Z is 0, 0, 0, 0, which is nothing but this. So, this one is this, right? And 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 is, see, W, X is 0, 1. W, X is 0, 1. So, be careful which one is W, X and which one is Y, Z. You could even write W, X here and Y, Z here. But then when you are marking, just see that the corresponding cell is marked. You can change this order. Don't change this order. This order is fixed because they have given it as W, X, Y, Z. Don't change this order. In the table, you could write W, X, Y, Z anywhere. But then just see that the appropriate cell are going to be marked. Only mistake that you could do in these questions is you no know, construction of the K maps. So just be careful there. If it is over, everything is a cakewalk. Okay. Now, now watch this. Next one is 0, 1, 0, 0. So what is 0, 1, 0, 0? This one, 0, 1, 0, 0. And next one is 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, which means this one. Next one is 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, which means this one. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 1, 0, and then 1, 1. Which one? Uh, okay, it is, sorry, sorry, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, which means uh, 0, 1, where is this? Yes, yeah, 0, 1, and then 1, 1, which means this one. It is over. And now 1, 0, 0, 0. So what is 1, 0? 1, 0 is here and 0, 0 is here. 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0 is this and 0, 1 is this. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1 means this one, right? So now you put all the all the ones in the appropriately and then you try to minimize it. So what is minimization? You have to cover all these ones with as less number of sub products, uh, uh, as less number of sub cubes as possible and as big subcubes as possible. So what is the less number of subcubes is? You can cover all this with one subcube, cover this with one subcube, cover this with one subcube, right? So it, it is not possible to go beyond it. Anyway, you cannot go for 8. 4 is the maximum. And you cannot go for 4 here. You cannot go for 4 here. It is direct. If you can look at it, you can understand it, right? Now, how to represent it is, for every subcube, you write what it is. So for this subcube, what is the product? How to how to know that is? You have to see what are the uh, variables which are not changing. You just write them down, and if any variable is changing, leave it because that is going to be eliminated. Now check this. In these two, what are the variables which are which are not which are not changing? Y is the variable which is not which is not changing, and then uh, okay, let's let's come from this one row column first. In these two columns, what is not changing? 
x is the variable which is not changing and w is changing therefore w will be dropped out and we are going to write x and moreover x is in ones so if you look at it x is one here and x is one here that is why i am going to write it as true form x and now coming to this column in these two what is not changing y is not changing and z is changing therefore leave z out and you can write y directly y is in true form therefore this term is represented by xy and what about this term this mean term can be represented like this okay one more thing how many terms variables are there four variables and how much big cube subcube you have you have found out four which is nothing but 2 power 2 therefore 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2 so the mean term or the product uh, the number of variables in the product we get in the in this subcube is 2 because it is n minus that much right and what about this one what is the mean term you know product of representing this just see this in these two what is changing 1 0 is not changing I mean w and x is not changing definitely why because it is the same column and what is the value of w it is 1 therefore w is true form and what about x x is in complement form x is 0 therefore complemented and in these two see this one and this one means in these two rows and in these two rows what is not changing y is not changing and y is 0 therefore you are going to write it as y complement and what about this one now in these two what is not changing y and z are not changing and in these two w is w is not changing so w is not changing y and z are not changing right therefore you are going to write it as w w is 0 that is why w complement and then y and z are not changing therefore you are going to write y and z but this y and z are 0 and 0 therefore complement and complement so these are the three terms we got how many product terms we got three product terms why did we get three because we have three subcubes and what is the size of each one and you know because of combining a, a cell or because of finding a subcube of size 2 i could drop down only one variable therefore from 4 i reduced to 3 here also by because of combining two subcubes i mean a subcube of size 2 i can drop down only one variable therefore from 4 i got three variables and here because i can i can combine four i could drop down two variables therefore from four i came down to two that is how i got it now what is the minimum expression minimal expression minimal expression is one in which you are able to cover all the uh, all the ones using as little number of or as less number of uh, subcubes as possible and as big subcubes as possible with more examples these concepts will be clear right now let's see one more example now from now on i am not going to explain how to write these values on the table i am assuming that you will be able to do that it should be simple right now let us say this is the function given and i have already constructed the k map see k map i constructed it they didn't give it and then in the in the k map i have, I have kept ones so what about the cells which are not having ones they are obviously zeros since we are worrying about only the mean terms or the product terms we are not going to consider zeros so when do we consider zeros is when we worry about uh, some you know not the product terms and we worry about the sum terms then we are going to see zeros so for now understand this uh, if i put all these product terms as ones then i got this now how to cover them what is the biggest subcube this is the biggest subcube right now uh, and how can i cover this one i could cover them with the smallest subcube you remember that point a cell or a one can be covered by or a cell can be covered by as many subcubes as desired which means this one is already covered by one subcube but again i am covering it no problem you can cover a cell with as many subcubes as desired and now this one and now this one and now this one right therefore how many subcubes we got we got a total of uh, five subcubes let's write all the five subcubes i mean let's write the expression for all the five subcubes and see what happens now see this one what is the expression for this one uh, for this one y and z are not changing and uh, w is not changing therefore this one is represented as w prime because w is zero and y and z are not changing therefore y prime z plus let's let's write this one if you look at this 
W and X are not changing and both are 1. Therefore, it is WX and in this one Y is not changing. Therefore, Y prime. Why Y prime? Because Y is, as, y is given as 0. And now you look this one, look at this one. So, W and X are not changing. Therefore, I am going to write it as W prime X. The reason is W is 0 and X is 1. Therefore, W prime X. And in these two, y is not changing. Therefore, I am going to write it as y as 1. Plus, now look at this one. In this one, these two are not changing. y and z are not changing. And in the column, w is not changing. Therefore, you can write it as w and then y, z. So, if you look at all these min terms which I have written or all these product terms, I should not call it as min terms. Min terms should contain all the variables. If you look at all these uh, uh, you know pro these product terms which I have written everything is from a subcube whose size is 2 if the subcube size is 2 how many variables can we drop out only one variable that is why even though there are four variables I am able to write them in three variables now all these four are written and now we have one more subcube this one right this one so for this subcube I am going to write the value as okay don't worry whether it is required or not I didn't discuss it yet Okay, so most of you must be getting a doubt why am I taking this. I'll just explain you shortly. Now, what is it for these four, these two rows and these two columns, what is not changing? X is not changing here and it is 1, therefore X. And for these two, Z is not changing, it is 1, therefore XZ. So, if I write all the terms, all the terms or all the subcubes, I got 5. But then we can find out that, later I'll tell you, this is not required xz is not required the reason is whatever are covered by xz are actually covered even without it right so in order to understand this thoroughly we have to understand the concept of implicant and prime implicant then you can understand what are required implicant prime implicant and essential prime implicant so the the way we